Bass Boys here, and today we're going to be going over the top baits of the year. Bass Boys. Hello everyone, it's Bass Boys here. And since we're going to be heading into the new year pretty soon, I wanted to make a video of my top favorite baits of the year. And you guys can probably tell by just looking at it right now that I use Gary Yamamoto's. And yes, I do. I use them a ton. And definitely one of my favorite baits pretty much all year round I can use and catch a load of bass. And when I say a load of bass, I mean tons. But... Obviously, this year has been a great year. I really didn't fish much until about um, August or maybe even September. I just kind of started. But it has to, to have been the shortest fishing year for me. But next year, we hope, me and Ryan hope to um, catch a lot of bass. So let's go over these uh, Yamamoto's and you guys can see there's a couple of things there that aren't Yamamoto's but let's go over the colors so first up we got uh, it's white pearl or it's pearl white black and gold fleck it's an amazing color I, I ranked them sort of by how I have them it's my fav this is my favorite one right here gold black pearl white it's amazing Especially a at night, night time. It's a good bait. Okay, and then actually got up. We got black with a silver fleck. Another really good color. I use a lot. Um, been using this color for a long time. Probably like five years. Um, yeah, this one I like, just found like like this year. And I just started, uh, no, I mean, maybe not this year. Last year I started using that white worm. And it definitely is good. And then next we got up is this green color, which I buy a lot. It's like a really dark green, and it has black fleck in it. And then, like, these looks like green, like shiny green speckles. Very good worm. And then the fourth worm, it's right here, which I think is called root beer something. Smoke root beer. Yeah, it's like smoke root beer. Uh, it's right there. It the tags all messed up, but I, I don't even know the color. I just know what way it looks. I know. So that is it for the Sankos. And then next up, obviously, you can see we got a frog. That I use a lot also. This one's actually a cupped lip frog. So it acts like a popper. So that is really good. So you can cast it in weeds. You cast it in anything. Out in open water. So that it doesn't just have like you know like the regular frogs that have pointy noses. That just kind of glide in the water. This one will pop. So it gives you that much more action. And then last we have the Skitter Pop. Old bait, it's been around for quite a while. And has the cup lip. Just like the frog. This one's the silver color, little black back. Very good bait. Um, I actually use these at night time usually. And you wouldn't think at night time I would with a top water bait on but sometimes that's what you just gotta use and you get yourself lucky sometimes and catch a lot of fish but very good bait right there gotta have it in your box gotta have a skitter pop gotta have a frog you have to have Sankos and I highly recommend Gary Yamamoto um, 
I know yum makes some worms, but the problem with yums for me is that they um, are light, they're really light. So the kind of rod I use, I use a medium power, and you just can't cast as far, nowhere near the, the length of a Yamamoto, because Yamamotos are, have a lot of salt in them, and the coating on the outside is, it's like, you could just tell it's a Yamamoto right away, you know what it is, and yeah, so I highly recommend anybody who likes Senkos, you get these colors here, top colors for me, white, black, green, and a, I would say, orange red. But I mean, this one's white one is awesome. That one has caught me a lot of bass. And so has the black and silver speckle. That's caught a load of bass. But all of these, they all have caught in tons of them. And I know that some people say it really doesn't matter what color you're using. Nobody will ever know. But... I use these a lot, and I've had success with them for a long time. I've probably been using these Yamamoto's for probably uh, maybe even 10 years. <laughs> it's almost like the only bait I use other than sometimes a frog and popper and topwater baits. I don't use spinner baits often. Uh, I've had many. But yeah, guys, these are my top baits of the year right here and that I've caught the most fish on this year as usual the Yamamoto and uh, that's it guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Bass Boys if you're new and if you're not new and you're watching this for uh, you already are subscribed thanks for subscribing and also make sure you comment on the last video last shout out I mean if you want to have a chance to be in uh, Sunday shout out next week because oh, there's not many people who commented on that video not many people viewed it yet but if you want to be in it make sure you comment on it and then I'll pick six people so make sure you do that you have a pretty good chance to be in it and that's it guys please uh, comment share subscribe to the Bass Boys Bass Boys out oh. <laughs>